Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm out on the Tiger 900 GT Pro again for another little ride. Thought uh, first ride of 2022 so I thought to myself let's get out. There's, it's not raining, it did rain yesterday and the day before that. So it's been absolutely, uh, absolutely nuts to be honest. And also to, to try and get some time in between the weather to actually get out and ride. But yeah, out on the 900 GT Pro today. And I just want to give you some further feedback, you know. As I said in my previous videos, as I keep on riding, as I get used to the bike more and more, I'll bring you some extra information about what I found and so forth. But yeah, let's get going. I jumped on the bike this morning and I thought to myself, it was still a little bit... Uh, it was... Uh, there wasn't even a light out, so I thought to myself, let's uh, let's take a little ride down to uh, take a little ride down to Henley. So I haven't been there in ages, and uh, and bring you guys along, and also give you some feedback about the bike, a little bit further feedback. You know, as I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep on giving feedback as I ride the bike and I pick up little things, uh, little pros and cons and so forth. So, uh, so you can get an idea of, of how it is to live with this bike. So the first thing that I, uh, that I uh, uh, um, sort of picked up this morning, because I haven't really ridden the bike in the dark, uh, is um, all the instruments are backlit. And again, this is not something that you need, uh, but it's quite nice. It's, it's, it's actually nice to be able to see the home button and all the all the all the little buttons being back being backlit. It's just sort of a nice little touch on a bike that uh, that you're paying the money for. And uh, yeah, it's just it's just really it's just really awesome, you know. And uh, I must say, I'm also getting uh, really nice uh, used to this uh, the heat grips because I've, I've I've got it on the low setting again today just to keep a bit of heat in the hands and uh, yeah it's a it's a really nice easy button to press nice feedback you press it in and you can see it comes on those uh, yellow little uh, heated hand grips uh, the heated seat is here in the front I haven't used that much to be honest but uh, I will uh, I will use this sooner or later it's not been very cold to be honest it's been very mild for uh, for January 2022 so I hope you all are having a great uh, well I hope you are gonna have a great uh, 2022 and uh, let us let us be able to ride our motorbikes a lot to enjoy this as much as we can and hope we can get some nice weather to get some good riding time in so yeah let's get him back Heated grips is a big thumbs up for me as one of the uh, prerequisites uh, here in the UK or any clo uh, colder, colder climates. It's just so nice to have that as a standard on any bike. Just makes it so much more comfortable to ride. And then the hand guards, I actually enjoy that. So first feedback on the first tank of fuel. I thought I'm going to get easily over 200 miles. Uh, now, I usually uh, ride the bike and then I ride it uh, till the reserve light comes on. And that gives me a good indication of how much miles I'm going to get. Now, yes, I can ride the bike till it's uh, almost empty, but uh, in the uh, real world, when uh, the light comes on, you need to go and find a fuel station. You're just going to not carry on riding. If you don't know where you are and you don't know where a fuel station are or is, um, then you're not just, just going to keep on riding. You are going to try and find a fuel station. I had uh, I had this on my street triple, and uh, yeah, I, I, I sort of the reserve light came on. I I just couldn't find a fuel station close by, and I was uh, in the countryside. The problem with that is the fuel stations are usually far apart. Or you don't know where they are, um, and again, you know, I was too lazy to stop and get Google Maps out to find a fuel station. Because I've also run into problems like that before, where uh, Google says there's a fuel station, and then it's a uh, not a fuel station anymore. It's actually a a, 
a garage selling cars. Oh, look at the mud here in the middle of the road. Not good. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I got 188 miles on my first tank of fuel, full tank of fuel. And uh, the reserve light came on at 50, 53 miles. And I'll, uh, I'll link all these things up here somewhere so, so you can actually have, it, have a look at it. <clears throat> um, and then uh, you can have an idea. I also link up how much I paid for the fuel to fill it up. I think it was like 14.95 liters of fuel. So uh, out of a 50, I think it's a 17 liter tank, I think. I'll correct it in the video. Uh, when I get to get to the editing stage but yeah I was hoping for at least uh, 200 miles and then uh, reserve light will come on and I think the fuel price I think it was 20 pounds so uh, not that bad but yeah, I was hoping for a little bit better fuel can fuel consumption um, and the guys watching this video that, that already has a, a, a triumph a tiger 800 uh, 900 850 uh, drop some comments below what you get on your tank of fuel uh, the size of your tank and also uh, what is the range that you get on get on your fuel tank and don't listen i i didn't thrash the bike at all you know um it's it's just it's just normal normal riding and i uh i think i can say i'm quite a uh what do you call it, a uh, conservative uh, rider, not a uh, super fast rider. I think we're here in uh, Henley. I think it's to this, to this side. To have a little check yes it is so I entered actually Henley on the other side so that's the main street Henley and then this is gonna go down to the river I hope you can see my last ride was like in the rain it was not good but again thanks for everyone that watched it's uh, not the most exciting video, but hey man, I had to get out, get some fresh air. So this is it, this is the river. Look at it, beautiful. Super nice. The river is flowing nicely, to be honest. There's the Henley Bridge there in the front. The sun just peeking through the winter sun. This is a one-way street, but yeah, it's beautiful down here. Just gonna go to the other side and show you how it looks like on the other side. Oh, there's the rowing club. I think that's the Ander rowing club. absolutely brilliant beautiful place beautiful place definitely worth a a ride out it's a nice pub that pub is uh, on the water so uh, in the summer it's nice to sit out there and uh, look at all the boats go by really nice so yeah that was my that's my feedback on the on the fuel consumption and I've done now this morning 32 miles uh, 53 minutes of of riding and uh, yeah this bike is really uh, really comfortable to be honest I'm very very surprised this chocolate cafe is also if you want some nice cake and tea that's a nice place to go and visit for some refreshments there's the river. It's the leftover Father Christmas of the steamer. Now I'm 
gonna go down here. We're gonna show you down here. This is this goes down to um, Henley River and Rowing Museum. Again, one of those places that uh, I don't know a lot of people know know about, but it's such a nice place to go and visit if you uh, if you've got kids can go and enjoy a bit of uh, the history of rowing there's loads of buttons to press now in the COVID times uh, they've taken some of the buttons away but there's loads of uh, old uh, uh, rowing memorabilia it's really nice so this is yeah this is the Henley rowing river and rowing museum very nice definitely worthwhile a visit got a nice little cafe as well at the back where you can uh, have some cake and coffee i'll just quickly show you through the main uh sort of the shop road here in henley so you have an idea then i'll loop around and then i'll go over the bridge so you can see yeah really nice town it's, uh, loads of um, places to see loads of places lots of stuff to do nice restaurants and uh, just some uh, really nice uh, down by the river there by the rain museum there's a uh, also a nice park where um, the kids can play and they also have like, uh, like uh, slides and like a whole kids playing area for younger kids and for older kids so this is the main street in Henley There's also the old churches you also can go and visit. Really nice. Very nice little restaurants. There's also enough uh, parking here that you can really park up and uh, Park up and walk around. So this is the road going over the bridge. There's a this nice church. Now we're going to go over the bridge. Definitely a nice ride out on the motorbike or, or in the car. I also find it uh, very easy to balance on this bike. You know, I was stopping there now and I wasn't even, I was very slowly rolling forward. And uh, the bike just balance, balances really well. Then I put my feet down. So uh, yeah, it feels very natural, very like uh, center, center balanced. You know, I don't know how you call it, low center of gravity. So it's uh, just a little bit, few tweaks on the handlebars, and it will keep it up, keep it upright. So it's quite nice, without you thinking about it. But yeah, guys, that was Henley. Just a quick little trip to Henley this morning. Give me some further feedback on the bike. Uh, the other thing that I that I that I would say, uh, when I when I test rode the or test test rode the 850, the 850 definitely had a different note in the exhaust, and it almost feels to me like the gearing on the 850 feels to me uh, better than the 900, especially the riding. Uh, uh, just it's. It, it's just an experience that I've uh, when I when when I when I went on that bike compared to this bike, it just feels like the 850 has got a little bit more what do you call it punch off the line, um, where where the 900 doesn't. Now this might just be in my mind, but um, it's interesting. So um, you know the people that's got 850s, the Tiger 850s uh, sports. Let me know in the comments if you if you did test drive a 900 um, and 
and what was your feeling between the two bikes? Yeah, I spent about uh, three hours, I think three hours on the 850. And man, the bike was just like a really uh, punchy. Sometimes this, this yes, is in rain mode, but it, but it's still, you know, um, it's a, uh, it, it feels when it's not in rain mode. It's, it just, it just feels like, the, like the pickup is not as, is not as quick as the 850. And also the 850 has got a different exhaust note. Uh, it might, might have a different exhaust on this one. I would have expected it to be pretty much exactly the same, but it does sound a little bit different. But yeah, it's. Uh, that's that's sort of my it's sort of my first uh, uh, comment that I've that, that I can really say that it's that is that I, that I can distinguish between the two bikes. It's definitely something different. But otherwise, the screen on the lower setting is brilliant. Just some feedback on on, on that last ride that I did in the rain. My whole jacket, even my up to my shoulders, were all dry. Uh, my arms were dry. Um, yes, it wasn't. It, it wasn't like 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 dry, dry. But it, but there there wasn't any water lying on it and water seeping in or anything. My gloves was uh, gloves was uh, wet on the outside, but it but but there was no lying water. That's and that's quite nice. It's almost like a spray that was that that is that has fallen on it, on it. My trousers and stuff was dry. There's there's really enough. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Like protection here at the bottom behind the tank to keep your knees and your legs uh, dry. What I did find is my toes were getting cold. Um, it's almost like there's, there's no protection at all down there. And uh, it's, just, it's just an observation really. There's nothing wrong with it. I would expect something to get cold. It's not a, uh, not a super full fairing bike uh, where, where it keeps trying to keep all the weather off. But that's the that's the thing that uh, my boots were quite uh, quite uh, wet and my feet was getting cold. But otherwise, it's uh, it's been really nice. And you know, instantly, I was like, "Oh, I just shut down the or, or just stopped the bike. It's my heater grips off." You just instantly feel it that uh, that uh, that heat pumping into your pumping into your hands. So. Uh, Beautiful next to the river, yes, yes, the George and the Dragon. Way, <laughs> thank you. You know, people uh, when they live in a, a, close to their house, they just sometimes just go because they don't think there's anyone else on the road. It's just them. They they are in this uh, what do you call it? In this groove of uh, this is how it works. Meaning that uh, when I come out, there shouldn't be anyone on the road. This is Wargrave. This bull restaurant. I was here like way, way back. And uh, that restaurant made some really nice steak. I don't know if they still if they still do like specialized in steak. But it was really nice. Old pub. The parking is just here. If you go right down here and it's just around the corner. I do like the sound of this bike. It's really, really nice. Got a nice old, uh, nice old sound. Oh, I'm really keen to go and test drive that uh, that uh, new 660 Tiger, the Tiger Sport, the road orientated uh, bike of Tiger. That should be getting into the showrooms now, very soon. And all the exciting people that can have a nice 2022 with their new bikes. But I would like to get it out and give, give, you, give you guys some feedback. I think it will be quite an interesting, interesting bike for that price. Sure, man. I think it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a real uh, hard to beat bike, to be honest. Because, hey, why do, we, why do we buy adventure bikes? <laughs> Not always to go on massive adventures, but just to uh, ride in a bit more comfort. Upright, upright riding style, um, and uh, and yeah, just comfort. But also have the ability to have fun. 
have fun with the bike when when there's some twisty when there's some twisty roads. So yeah, guys. Uh, oh yeah, oh, I just want to carry on on the weather protection. Yeah. So so I was I was I was very surprised at at how well the weather protection worked. Uh, the heater clips works well. The heated seat works well. Yes, it's all um, additions um, that that is not always needed. Um, but man, it makes it makes a it makes a big difference. Um, but yeah, the 850 for me again, it was interesting. The 850 was um, was for me just a more pokey machine. So uh, interesting, very interesting. Okay, guys. Well, um, I hope you enjoyed this little update video, and uh, I hope you all have a great 2022. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you ha if you're still here and you're still watching, woohoo! Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Cheers, guys.